Hey Jace, hmm? do you know what today is? Uh, no. You forgot. Come on, what's today? Mm. It's STEM Day. STEM oh. Day. That's right. So in celebrating of STEM Day, guess what? what? In celebrating of STEM Day, so the people from Microduino sent us this product to review. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is a itty bitty buggy by Microduino. This is a STEM toy, a new generation of intelligent toys. Buggy includes the components that allow you to create and configure many fun projects. All right. So thank you Microduino for sending us this product for us to review. All right. And we can't wait to check it out, right Jace? Yeah. This is the box. It says itty bitty buggy created by Microduino. So in the back. And it's supporting Scratch, Python, and Arduino. All right, so this is the box. And it's on the side here. Looks like we have, what, how many different? We could build the buggy, mm -hmm. the ladybug, the sloth, the dodo bug, and the alien. And the alien. And it says feature rich, various ways of playing, voice control, Bluetooth, Remote control, color recognition, and more. Code programmable, STEM level fun, custom program with Scratch, Arduino, and Python. Expandable, make your own fun projects and design. So it looks like we have an itty bitty buggy app, so you can download that in the App Store or through Google Play. So we get that, we could use the Google Play that we have. And there's how many different modes? There's four. The modes are ranger mode, freezer mode, voice control mode, and musician mode. So this is for 8 plus, which is perfect for you, right? All right, go ahead, open it up. Let's see, okay, let's see what they have inside. So we have the itty bitty buggy pieces to build it. Mm -hmm. So this is what's included in the box. We got the introduction here. We got the, the, the itty bitty buggy pieces. Got the pieces there. And, and the core module. The buggy core module. And the buggy body. And, uh, and the micro US USB and USB cable. And the sensor cable. This is a USB cable. Mm -hmm. And we got the connector wire. And we got the music tour map. And this is for the buggy to drive. To drive around. So when you build the buggy and connect it to, okay. to the app. You could, uh, you could program it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and build it first. Okay, let's, let's build it. So there's a, there's step by step you can follow here in the introduction. So there's about five steps to follow. So we did that. We connect the buggy core module to the buggy body. We did that. And mm. you're on step two. Locate the black connector wire and connect one end to the D2 slash D3 plug. Alright, mm -hmm. go ahead turn the power switch. Beep. So beep. So we have the app here, download the phone. You open the app. So we get to turn on the Bluetooth function. The app is on. Now select which project you want by swiping your fingers. So which project are we doing? This one. Alright, the buggy. So you build. Buggy build step. Buggy. So buggy build step. So it's a mobile vehicle that is controlled via Bluetooth with our smartphone. The buggy could detect different colors along its path and play musical notes accordingly. Okay, next. So this is all the buggy parts. So I got a basic building block. Now we're gonna try and find the pieces. I built the wheels. So you connect the wheel here. So I got the wheels. Now we turn the attach the axles. Okay. I have to put it in the buggy. So there's a couple different options here you could program. So there's buggy, dodo bird, slot, ladybug, alien, and then there's more right here. I'm not sure if the piece is also included in our package, but there's beetle, titan, and cannon. That you could build later on. So there's all the program. They could build. We did the build, and then once we're done, we can play and check it out. 
Alright, we finished building the buggy. We're gonna try to play in the play mode. Okay. So this is like a remote control like you could use. Light up and it's on. The lights at the bottom. You could try and move it. Alright, my son gonna demonstrate and use the remote control. Let's see what other option they have. They have this like music. Happy birthday song. Uh -huh. We have different option, so you could use the different option, remote control, line tracing, music, and voice control. Go That's in a play mode, and demonstrate the line tracing, looks like that, alright, here we go. And use the music tool map, put it on the ground here, and just place the buggy in there, there's play, and there's music. Play music again from the buggy. <laughs> and you press play. And then go. There it goes. And just follow the, the line. It goes around and around. And you could stop it. And you could pause it or stop it. Like that. And you could change a different option to music. And then use the remote to move it up. You can see there's there's different notes here. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti different color so this the sensor as it hit different color it make different different notes there you go so with the remote control you could always have a free play it goes front and back side to side like that it's the free play with the remote control for the button The dodo bird. Quick build. So it's a itty bitty buggy turns into a bird. Chasing its stream, trying to hard in a, trying hard to fly in a clumsy way. Like ranger, cruiser, cruiser, musician, and voice control. Ready to build? Yes. All right. Press build, and in the app. It's going to show all step by step how to build the doodle bird and all the parts that you need. You have the option of 2D or 3D to build it. So this 3D, you could move it around and look easier. I think we've been using the 2D one, so but they have the option for 3D now. You click next, and we'll show you the part where it goes, which is nice. This is how the dodo bird looks like. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to use the app. control looks like you slide up it will go forward and you slide down it will go backwards you slide right it will turn right if you slide left it will turn left this button right here at the bottom can make the noise this is the options this is just the buzzer the motor calibration and the reset In the buzzer you could change the noise of the sound all different music and the motor calibration is how fast the buggy goes. Like Wait, if it's it fast. In, like if it's seven percent, it won't go that so fast. Slow. Oh, okay. So you can slow it down and make it go fast. Cool. These are what the so these are the colors of which one you want. Oh, you could change the. These are the colors of which one you want for 
for the lights to be the when lights. they're going forward, oh, turning, okay. or backwards. We could change the color. Let's do it over. So which one are you going to build next? I'm going to build the alien. alien. Yeah, so it's cool that they have different creatures that you could build. You could play with. Build and play. This right. how to build the alien. Alright, so we're going to build the alien and show you guys. So pretty much you reuse all the pieces to make a new one, right? Mm -hmm. We're building an alien here, almost done. Hello? So you program it with your voice. It so what happened? And it raises hand. So when you say hello? Hello. You move his hand? <laughs> and it's down? <laughs> so there's a sensor right here, huh? What's the yeah. alien doing? It could do push up. Whoa. He's trying to swim. <laughs> Is it alien mode? Do you control it by your voice? Hello! He's waving. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Itty Bitty Buggy. Thank you, Michael the Wiener. Thank you once again, Microduino, for sending us Edie Bitty Buggy to review. If you guys interested, uh, they're available at Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a happy STEM day. Enjoy your STEM day. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.